let's solve a stress limo problem this is a good time to solve an stress limo problem so typically the way where they are made they are uh, normally a big suv or van like vehicle they are cut into half somewhere here and then they kind of so that's the rear portion of that um, probably here and then they oil some piece here to make this stressed out like a disproportionate shape to accommodate all those luxury fancy stuff so let's Im simplify and learn some uh, shear force bending moment diagram analysis on this piece of vehicle so i kind of simplified that assume that it the weight is distributed it's designed for 20 people uh, have some luxury time inside there there's some freeze all kinds of stuff there so that makes things really heavy think about every food it carries about 400 pounds and imagine if you have some heavy people there and also uh, in the front you have an engine transmission that carries that big weight you assume that about 3000 pounds of weight in the front is a concentrated load and these are two wheels so uh, uh, assume that I, I let's say this point is a this is point B so these are my two reactions so to solve a uh, problem let's see if I can get rid of that to solve a uh, shear force bending moment diagram problem step number one is to draw the uh, free body diagram which I have drawn already uh, kind of simplified to a two-dimensional problem which is very representative of what happens if you can do that um, it it's kind of very similar to what's gonna happen to that um, chassis this is actually in foot somehow it's got replaced when I copied from word that's three feet that's about two feet from the front okay so step number one is done step number two is define the reaction forces so step number two is reaction force calculation the only way to do that by taking moments by taking moments at each reaction points moments at each reaction points so let's take moments at a so if I take moments at A, summation of all moment equal to zero. So then for that 3000 pounds, it is about one foot away from that point one. And that's gonna do a counterclockwise moment, which is positive. And then the uh, total load, which is 400 pound per every foot, distributed let's say uniformly all through this chassis so we can do that's gonna do i can assume that will act somewhere in the middle so we can say that will do a clockwise moment which is negative so 400 pound every foot and i have 36 feet of that load so 36 and then that's gonna act from 15 feet from a which is 30 by 2 or 15 feet so that's gonna act from 15 feet from point a and then i have this reaction at point b which will do a counterclockwise this is positive rb times fifth oh that's gonna be 30. everything sum to zero so that reaction at b i have calculated uh, 7100 pounds similarly we can calculate reaction at B, uh, a which is 1033 300 pounds was calculated at point a now let's go to the next space now this step number three is the point of interest so after you find all the reaction forces step number three is the points of interest so in this case wherever the load changes so that's the uh, clue for so change of load is the um, react 
is the interest point so this is one point where it load changes this is another point let's define this point is d and this is already a and you keep going keep going nothing change here it change here again at b so in this case my point of interest is uh, d point a point b point plus where i have the zero share where moment is max which will be almost in the middle but this three thousand pounds is kind of making this piece imbalance so it's gonna be a little bit towards the right side of the center so this is the center of the limousine it's gonna be the right side somewhere around here very close though so we don't know yet we have to go draw the shear force diagram to kind of find that uh, or we can kind of set up an equation where zero shear force and find the moment uh, at that point so the point of interest are four points here d a b and the max moment point now we got that and the step number four is to cut each of these points so let's cut at point d so cut step number uh, four is to cut each of these points of interest point of interest so if i cut at d i have a concentrated load so i have to cut before and after d so before d then i will not see that concentrated load 3000 pounds if i cut before d so like that so if the d point is here i will not see that 3000 pounds i have to balance this feet uh, piece cutting piece so i cut at d to the left side of that point downwards and then moment at d and take clockwise now so these are 400 pound each foot and then this uh, between d and this corner that was two uh, feet so if i do sum of all fours upward direction positive everything sum to zero i will find 400 pounds times pounds per feet time two feet of that load that's a negative going downwards negative vdl everything sum to zero vdl is equal to 800 which is negative pound so that is the first share force before point d right before d now if i cut after d so after d if i cut after d then i'll see that three thousand pounds now because here is three thousand pounds i'm cutting a little bit after d so i'll see that three thousand pounds here and i got a bunch of this load here that's four hundred pound per feet this piece is three thousand so, and then balance this vd to the right side of point d downwards md moment is same before and after so summation of fy upward positive everything sum to zero so 400 this is two feet 400 pound per feet times two feet of that load which is negative now negative 3000 that is also going downwards negative vdr which is also going downwards so vdr is equal to i found the right side let me get that oh, calculation please i have found that basically 3000 added so it's 3800 negative again pounds now to calculate moment at d let's just take the sum of all moments at d that would be 400 you can use either of this figure pound per foot times two foot of that load this load will act halfway from d so that's two by one two by two feet and that will make a clockwise moment which is positive plus md is also positive everything is equal to zero so moment at point d was calculated 800 pounds foot which is negative 
So this way we can cut all of these places and found all the information. So this is what I have found. So at um, point A, at A, so the shear force before point A was negative 4200 pounds. Shear force after point A to the right side of point A was 6100 pounds. The moment at that point was calculated negative 400, uh, 4800 pound foot. At B, we have calculated the, let me do it here. So at B, so to the left side of B, the force was calculated 5900, which is negative pound and then to the right side of B, I got 1200, that's a positive force. And then moment I calculated was 800, which is negative at B pounds. So we got all these moments and everything. So let's draw the uh, shear force diagram and bending, shear force and bending moment diagram. So, should have copied one of those graphs there. So you got this whole beam and you got a bunch of load like that. Distributed load, uniformly distributed load, 400 pounds. So these are all 400 pound per foot. And then I got one reaction at this point, one reaction at this point. And then I got a concentrated load here, which is 3,000 pounds. And this reaction was calculated 10,300. This was calculated 700. And so if I extend these like this, so the shear force at this point at, at D, it was calculated as, let me get that piece of paper. So we calculated the shear force at point D and that was negative 800. Let's assume that's somewhere here. So from point A to D it's going to go like this and then to the right side of D then it drops another 3000 and then go to 4200 here. And then after that, it go up 10,000 all the way. Let's say this is 10,000 there. And then right before A, right before B, it goes to negative 5,900. Let's say that's negative 5,900. And then it go up to 71. And then go down to zero like that. So that's my shear force diagram. So I got bunch of local max here. So here I got shear force zero. This is the shear force diagram or zero shear line. So I got zero shear there as well. I guess here is zero shear. All of these zero shear point I have the moment max. So these are my local uh, max moment point. So these are local max uh, moment point. Now I know moment at this point, we calculate that. I know moment at this point, however I don't know moment at this point. So this is another point of interest. We didn't calculate it. So if I cut it here at this point to find just to calculate the moment, I know the shear force. So to calculate the moment, so let's cut at that point. So if I cut at that point, I got that 3,000 pounds here and this 400 distributed loads. So that's 3,000. Let me just have a border here so I know. And then here I got 10,300 pounds. And then I'm cutting at X direction, X distance from that point A from there. Here, shear force is zero and then moment will be something 
which is max i don't know what that is we'll calculate that and if we solve for shear force so let's do let me use this space here right here so let's do summation of fy all upward direction positive equal to zero so i got negative three thousand pounds and then i got 400 pounds load so that's uh three feet and then x feet so 400 uh, times 3 plus x and then i got this 10000 which is positive 10300 so if i solve for x i found x equal to uh, 15.25 feet so at 15.25 feet the moment will be maximum so i have also calculated the moment here uh, which is 41 7 on 2.5 hues 41712.5 moment so if we draw the moment diagram here so at point um, I think point D we have a negative moment 800 so from here it's gonna go like a second degree curve here start from here so that's 800 and then it will go also negative at uh, a as well which is 4800 let's assume that's 4800 like that and then at this point at max point it goes 41000 which is used definitely not drawn to this scale but you get the idea and then it's gonna go drop somewhere negative again at point uh, b and then go back there so you guys know all that so that's the bending moment diagram for this problem.